this is like the best shonen title and this has happened so many times the episode's called the guy who doesn't know when to quit oh yeah i'm in here for it What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episode 45. It's crazy. There's only like six more episodes of this opening. I feel like this opening just started, but you know, seven more, I think. But it's just crazy how much, you know, time flies when you're having a good time. A good old classic dad joke. But last episode, we had Veto come in, cause so much havoc, beating on everyone's ass. Yeah, we had the ultimate team up between Magna and Lug with the ultimate combo magic. I forget what it was called, like the lightning flame explosion cannon, something along those lines. We didn't get to see how it worked out because of course it cut away, it's Black Clover. But I'm so excited, Asta and Kyoto are running in there. So much shit is going down. We still have Kahono and Noel off on their own. Still curious about where that's gonna go. Noel still has a realization about her magic. I'm just, I'm so excited to find out. So remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead. Check out that Patreon down below. It's always available to you guys. If you guys do want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with YouTube algorithm and I truly, truly appreciate it. Do not forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not. Join that Dapper squad. We always welcome any and all new members. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly what I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, all Dapper Darius. Thank you you guys so much let's hop right on into this black clover episode 45 the guy who doesn't know when to quit i'm so excited <laughs> combo magic flame lightning explosive cannon it's so amazing how they both knew the title of that i don't know if this is their first time doing it they just instinctively know that title that is so crazy Nothing. That was literally everything they had left. Oh. Yes, they were. I'm so glad you said that, Yami. Oh, Asta's going. He said, you better stand strong, kid. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, both swords. Demon Slayer, Demon Dweller. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah, if I were them, I'd be so nervous. I'd be like, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't just step in there like that, Asta Kiato. Oh my lord. Okay. I want someone so strong to just come in here and beat up Beto just so we can stop saying insects and mice and scum. You hairy gorilla. I like how they're both double sword wielding. Damn. Yeah, right? This isn't time to be drinking around joking. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> now, Charmy could actually go off, but she is knocked out from Kahono. Oh, Crab's gonna wake her up. Give her a quick pinch. Oh, wow. 
It acts like a dog. Scorpio chain. I'm a Scorpio. Oh, I love that he teleports like that. And he has two chains. Two chains! Heavy chain. Those things must weigh so much. Jesus, you know what it reminds me of? What's the chain thing from Mario? Oh, Charmy? Is the crab going to point him to Charmy? Gray? The crab was gray? So he had real double on gray who was transformed to him and then the real uh, ghost is behind him. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why this crab was so helpful. <laughs> what the f yeah, I would take this chance to go back to the uh, Eye of the Midnight Sun guy right there. And just melt him. そう、見かけた時にはああだったから。とりあえず、あの食欲爆でも戦力になる。落とすか。力が抜ける。するトラップ。バインドライン。同じ面が2つ。片方は変身魔法か。てめえ。嫌だ。やめて。やめて。なん
Same age as me. Oh, you guys just defeated two powerful mages, you know. How are things over there, hot-headed shrimp? Hopefully better. Oh, oh, don't pop off like that. Oh, good cuts. It's a valid reason. I thought he was gonna say some shit like you're a pipsqueak or an insect. Yes, which, which you know, has been said before. Yes. Oh. Yes, that we've all known. <laughs> he really doesn't know when to quit. If I quit, if I give up for who could I protect? I don't even know what he tried to say right there. Kahono coming in clutch. Who could I protect? Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh. <laughs> That was good. Seeing Gray's true form is so interesting to me. I just, I swear I've seen this character before, but I hadn't, I, oh, damn, I'm curious where I've seen them before now. Maybe in like a poster or something or other, but damn, I did not know one, Gray was a girl, and two, that's what she looked like. Same age as me, 24. That's just insane to me, but the transformation magic is super strong. I love how she, I have to say that now, can transform things other than herself, which would make sense why that'd be a great addition to like already transformation magic, being able to transform yourself. That's super strong to be able to transform other things, but I actually did not write anything down this episode, surprisingly. I also really enjoy Veto not really being a counter to Asta, but showing some of the major weaknesses he does have and things we need to work on. One, he's weak against long range attacks, things especially that aren't magic. Um, two, physical attacks that are things that are reinforced, especially stronger than him, are major weakness. And three, he doesn't know when to give up, so he'll put himself in horrible situations that can give the opponent definitely an advantage over him. But I loved his response to that. Well, duh, I have to not give up. Who am I gonna protect if I give up? What the hell, They're, no one's gonna protect them, which is every, every hero's answer you know like the i was just watching my hero because i'm re-watching it for the new season coming out but i love i still love to this day when all might says meddling and where you shouldn't be in situations you shouldn't is like the true essence of being a hero something along those lines it's so true you know like there are things theoretically logically if you're going by reason you shouldn't involve yourself in it's just going to lead to demise of you maybe the people around you but you do it because you're a hero and that's what you do you know that's fucking i love that it's crazy and oh man veto is so strong gosh going against that chain user though i love how we use gray in that little addition to transform into me use a double then you think you got both the doubles and boom come back behind you but the chain user was surprisingly strong pretty yeah like really good for offense and defense like gosh was saying then we have the uh the magic vine user who i thought that was just like a mix with a spider and a, and a grass type pokemon that was just interesting and i loved how we used charmy because charmy is like zenny too only uses their powers in very specific situations but if you try to take charmy's food the one hit, two hit, mega hit was so strong. Oh my God. I would love to see that against somebody like Vecho. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. But I love this fight. I love these episodes so far. If you guys did as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys want early access and full length, check out that Patreon. Always is available to you guys. I appreciate you oh so much. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. I'll catch you guys in these next episodes. Peace out, Dapper Squad.